hey y'all how we doing good to see you guys again i pray all is well with you um today i just want to encourage you um it's been a long day for me my brother passed away and it's been a uh, challenging day but i know that um through it all god will get the glory out of it and um at least he's not suffering anymore. And I wanted to read Proverbs 23, uh, 7 says, As a man think in his heart, so is he. Okay, we got to be careful what we, what comes out of our mouth, y'all. Because lots of time we say things and we don't think about what it do to others or what it do to ourselves? because if i keep thinking that i'm a bad person eventually i will become that bad person if i keep thinking that i love to eat apple pie i'm going to always want to eat apple pie so we just have to be mindful of um what we say and we have to choose the right word words to say because sometimes it's better not to say anything than to say something that's going to bring harm or hurt to somebody and even as widows if i keep saying my husband is gone i'm by myself my husband is gone. I'm by myself. Well, guess what? eventually fear is going to come in and i'm gonna be fearful and I'm going to just be fearful and I'm going to always be feeling sad and sorry because I'm thinking he's gone. He's gone. And if whatever we think, y'all, so whatever we think it in our heart, if I think I'm mean, eventually I will become mean. If I think I'm nice, eventually I will become nice. It's, we, it's, we just have to be mindful of the things that we think, you know, um, of course we miss our spouse but if i sit around all day saying how much i miss him do you know depression is coming you know i have good memories and in those good memories it'd be times i'm i'm smiling or i laugh because it's something that uh came to my you know my memories remembrance i can't even get it out that made me smile something that uh you know that happened between us and you know what i realized too y'all i hear some widows reminding uh themselves of the bad stuff their spouse done did them but he's gone now so we got to learn how to forgive and i'm gonna keep saying forgiveness is not for the other person it is for you when we forgive somebody that have hurt us harm us it is bringing healing to us. And let me tell you, we need healing. Widows need healing. We need healing because some of us have been with our spouse for a long time. And even some that's been what a short time. You have built a relationship up with this person. And so, you know, you look forward to that person being there. And you want to remember good things. All of that stuff that's bad, throw it away. It don't do no good. He can't defend himself. So let it go. Let it go and then you'll find yourself with peace. Be mindful of what negative thoughts that you think about yourself. Because eventually, you know, eventually you go think it enough till it's so. And I always say, Lord, please don't let me be bitter. Because it's so easy to be bitter, you know, after a son being murdered. And then, what, 16 years later, the husband is gone. And then, uh, less than that, the daddy's gone. And then, and, and, and it, it caused you to be bitter. Because let me tell you, I have to watch myself. Sometimes when I see a husband and wife together, I want to feel that should be me with my husband but then I realized that that's the wrong way to think Janice you can't think like that and you know when you hear women talking about their spouse and I'm like oh my god it must feel good 
And then I think about, it did feel good. And I can remember those good feelings. And I can hold on to those good feelings. And I plan on holding on to those good feelings. Because the God we serve is an awesome, awesome God. We got to be mindful of what we allow in our mind. Okay, if we think we fat, guess what? Eventually, eventually, be mindful of your finance. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough money. I don't eventually, guess what? You're going to talk yourself out of the money that you do have. Talents. I'm not good at nothing. Everybody's good at something. It may be cooking. It may be cleaning. It may be something. Everybody is good at something. Okay, and uh, if you're selfish, guess what? You're going to be selfish. What you think about yourself is usually what is going to uh, it's it's going to happen. And so, be mindful of what you uh, think about yourself. Again, stop being. Stop being so stop being so hard on yourself. Don't be hard on yourself. Cuz you you go through enough as it is. And then for you to be hard on yourself, who is it helping? It ain't helping nobody. It ain't helping you. Give yourself a break, y'all. Give yourself a break. Be nice to yourself. You know, cuz lots of time it took me it took me a good 10 years to to let it go and stop blaming myself for my son being murdered and I was in the car with him and couldn't help him. And it took a long time for me to stop being mad at myself because I'm a parent and I'm supposed to protect that child and I wasn't able to protect my child. And so, you know, and I realized how hard I was on myself. And my husband used to tell me, stop being so hard on yourself, Janice. You had no control over that. So I'm telling you, widow, whoever you are, whoever this message is for, stop being so hard on yourself. Stop thinking all that negative stuff about yourself. Love you. You only have you. Take care of you. Take care of your body. Exercise. Do the right things for you. You only have you. And if you don't take care of you, we don't have a spouse right now to take care of us. So you know what? It falls on us to be responsible enough to take care of ourselves. You know, and life would be a whole lot better if we wouldn't be so hard on ourselves. How can you love someone else when you can't love you? How can you love you if you don't know God? Because one thing about it, God is love. And if you don't have a relationship with God, you're going to have a hard time, period. Because he's the one that gives you peace that passes all men's understanding. He gives you the fulfillment of, yes, my husband is gone, but I can make it. I'm going to be okay. You're going to be okay. I promise you, you will be okay. You will be okay. But stop being so hard on yourself. Love you. You know, take care of you. You know, and that's one thing my husband stressed to me before he left. He said, Janice, do you. Take care of you. Do some of the things you like to do. You've been taking care of me, babies, and, you know, and children, all your do something that you like to do. Find you. And this is a good opportunity for us to find out who we are. Because like I, I mentioned before, when my husband first left, I would go to Walmart and cry. Because I didn't know what to buy. Because everything I bought was for him. And I ate whatever he ate. And when he left, I had to instill yet. I was telling my daughter today. I'm hungry, but I'm not hungry. I want something, but I don't want something. So be good to yourself. And let me tell you, every time I share something with you, it's helping me. Because I need to be good to myself. I need to stop being so hard on myself. 
I am the only one that I have. And if I don't be good to me, who's going to who's going to be good to me? And one thing about it, just the way you treat yourself is how other people treat you. If you mean to yourself, people, you wonder why people always mean to me cuz 9 out of 10 you mean to yourself. Why people always, you know, being a hater, you know, well because undoubtedly something is going on in you that you and God is the only one knows your heart. So again, ladies, be encouraged. Um, enjoy your weekend. Bless somebody. Do something nice. I have found that when I'm hurting, it helps if I get and do something for somebody else. To take my pain away, I go and I get busy. I get busy and I'm very excited. I'm going to say this and I'm going to go on. The Lord gave me a little mission and I accomplished it. Not accomplished it, but I started toward it. And uh, on Thursday, we was able to feed 10 people. And I am so excited that if we ask God to use us, he will use us. If you're bored and don't have nothing to do, ask the Lord, what can I do? To help somebody. And I guarantee you. He will show you. Somebody out there need your attention. Your love. Your you know, your kindness. That's why we still here. Because we still have work to do. Again I love y'all widows. Hang in there. You're going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. I'm going to trust in God. And I pray that you trust in God too. And if you don't know him. Just say, Lord, I don't know you, but I want to know you. And God will start dealing with you. He will start telling you things. And this morning something happened, and I'm like, well, I, I never thought. I wouldn't even think nothing like that. Well, God works like that. He tell you things that you don't think you. I'm like, I wouldn't even thought of this. Well, I know it was God that was telling me that. Because he talks to us and he said that he will be our friend when our husband gone. He will be a husband. He will be a friend, whatever, whatever type of companion we need. God say, hey, Janice, I am here for you. I love you. And I always tell y'all, widows, our name is in the palm of his hands. He see us as the apple of his eyes. We are his daughters. He loved us with everlasting love. And just that, just that makes me excited, y'all. Again, I love y'all. Hang in there. You're going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. Until next time. Bye-bye.